Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you the easiest way for you guys to convert your existing caravan battery setup to lithium. We've been lucky enough to partner with iTech World. How <laughs> good. They are Australian owned and operated. All research and development on their batteries is done right here in Australia. If you ask us, they're definitely the best people in the business. If you've been keeping up with us over the last few weeks, you'll know that we've really been struggling for power. Oh, crumbs! 11.3 volts. And this is why we've come to choose the new iTech 120X Pro batteries. These things are fantastic, guys. So let's get into exactly why they're the best and probably why you guys should get them as well. Now, one of the best things about these is that they have 100% usable power. So you can actually use the whole 120 amp hours of these things, which is pretty unreal. I actually watched another YouTube video of, an, of a guy testing these and he actually tested them to 136 amp hours, which is pretty insane. We have now three 100 amp hour lead crystal batteries. So we're replacing them with not one, but two. <laughs> So that's going to give us 240 amp hours of usable power and that's going to be an absolute game changer for us. Only having two batteries is going to make a significant extra bit of storage for us. Also, these things only weigh about 12 and a half kilos and our current lead crystal batteries, I reckon they're probably 30 kilos. But I'm actually going to put them on the scales later to show you guys the difference and I reckon it'll be massive. So, really looking forward to losing some weight, hey? <laughs> So this is our current setup. One battery here, the other two just here. Now I guess you're probably thinking to yourself, why do you need all that power? Well, we actually run a lot of stuff. Now, we're always charging camera, laptop, drone, GoPro, phones. <laughs> We've also got Starlink, a toasted sandwich maker, two fridges, all the lights, and really anything else you can poke a stick at. <laughs> if, if you can get it, we've got it. All right, so enough of me waffling. I better get stuck into it. This is gonna be one of the easiest installs that I've ever done. Dumb. I've been putting tape on these, but I accidentally let it go. And I let these positives here touch onto the base and I melted it. That's dumb. That's real dumb. I know I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Please don't judge me, YouTube. All right, <laughs> here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is heavy. I say we go inside and put them on the scales, hey? <laughs> These ones are so heavy. Oh. Oh. oh my God, that is so heavy. God, I'm like the Hulk. So 25.7. You guys are not gonna cope with how light these other ones are. Core was on, because you gotta look after your lower back, guys. Oh, I, I literally was bracing myself to lift that, but this one's so easy to lift. Oh my gosh, it's literally half. Can you guys deal with that? So we're gonna have only two of these instead of three of those. Yep. Can you do some quick maths? How Surely much? that's really easy. That's 75 kilos for the LEDs and with well, the lead crystals. And it's 25 kilos for the iTech world. So how many kilos have we saved? A lot. That's so good, isn't it? That means more things that I can put in. 
Less means more. And now, back to the install video. So, we've put them in. And that's it. That's an install. <laughs> See, these batteries, 120X Pros, are actually a 12.8 version, but they're just a drop in, drop out for an AGM or lead acid or whatever you've got going. So you don't need to change any charges, don't have to change anything with your solar, you just put them in. So it probably took me a little bit longer because I was filming, but you could realistically do this in 15 minutes. And you would have your old AGM battery set up, change to lithium, double the power, less than half the weight. It's as simple as that. It's literally just unscrew your terminals, put the new one in, put it back in. And so I'm sure the next question that you guys are gonna ask is, how are you gonna charge this stuff? And iTech World have actually hooked us up again with this. This is their new DC DC 40 amp charger with solar input. This is actually a super smart charger and what it does, when you're driving, you've got alternator and solar. So what happens is, say you're driving along and you're getting solar, it will actually switch to solar and charge your batteries by solar. That means you're saving fuel because you're not charging all these batteries with your car. And then once the solar goes away, it will just go straight to alternator. You, you've got a few different things. You can change your modes on it, but I'm gonna sneakily wire this up a bit different. So rather than using this as my solar controller, I'm going to leave my solar controller in and put this side by side so that when I'm driving, I should be able to get 40 amps out of the car. As well, when I'm driving, if there's solar coming in, I'll be able to get whatever I usually do out of my solar panels on top of the van, as well as the alternator. And I can get up to 20 amps sometimes in full sun with my two 200 watt solar panels. We'll test this later on, I'm sure I'll let you know. But I'm hoping that I can get 60 amps in one go. So that's... That's something. In saying that, I've actually, I think I've got a 50 amp breaker now I'm thinking about that. But we'll see how we go. So yeah, we'll get to the install with that. I've got to head to JCAR and get some bits and pieces, but I'll bring you along. So back from the store now. Got a few bits and pieces just to finish this off. Now look at this mess. This is usually all covered up behind here. So I've just whacked that off and there's so much dirt and dust and stuff that's come out of it. So I'll vacuum that up before. Plan is mount this probably here. That's the solar charge controller there. Power coming in from the Anderson at the front of the van. There, that one laying on the ground. It's gonna go into there, back out, in through the panel and then into the batteries. See how we go, eh? Voila. I thought I'd show you guys what I use to join cables together. Everyone does it a different way. Well, there's only a few different ways. But um, I use these little things. You get them from JCAR. They've got a little bit of solder in the middle. And yeah, you just sort of push the wires together and heat it up and they glue and then I put a bit of heat shrink over the top ends up looking like this I've never had any problems with them I'm sure there's gonna be heaps of people in the comments saying what the hell are you using them for I had one of them on my car and it caught fire and they didn't give me insurance or but they work for me they work so far so and they're easy
So guys, we finished this setup in the van and I thought I'd just explain to you guys why we've put this in here. Previously, I was running a C-Tech DC-DC charger in the car and that was a 20 amp hour charger and that was charging the 100 amp hour AGM in my car and then I had an Anderson plug on it which ran to this van and that was trying to as well charge the three 100 amp hour lead crystal batteries and it just wouldn't really work so we're really relying on the solar panels and the lead crystals didn't like to hold charge much but now we've got this new charger in here and I'm going to run a separate cable from the start battery back to an Anderson plug that will run directly into this so I'll get the 40 amps from the alternator and then my other battery in the car will charge off the C-Tech 20 amp charge. Hopefully, it all goes really well. So that was it. That's the install video done. Super easy. And what time do you reckon I started this morning? Maybe eight, eight o'clock? Yeah, eight o'clock and it is now 11.30, so. And that's including going out to the shops. Yeah, I went to J-Car. And mucking around there yeah. and then coming back. And also filming this for you guys. That takes a lot of work. So if you're thinking about doing the change, it's so simple, anyone could do it at home. It's great. I take well with those new batteries, the 12.8 volt ones, they've just made it so easy, hey. You've just gotta test it out. I know, I can't wait to use it. <laughs> we so won't have to worry, like it'll be just the best. It's we'll just be able to run whatever. It's gonna be such a relief yeah. because we were just, I was forever stressing about battery power. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope yeah. you learned something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, see you next me. time. Alright guys, bye.